two. So how do you remember which one's which? Let's have a go at these examples quickly together. Really the key is just do it in alphabetical order, right? U over V, okay? Uh, and to this day, I still write the U and the V, even though it's pretty easy to see. It's not a huge amount of information that gets added on there, but it just gives you a mental tag when you're doing your V U dash minus U V dash over V squared. You know exactly which one is which, okay? Let's have a go. There it is, there's the rule. If it makes you feel better, write it out again, just to help it get into your brain a little bit. What's V in this case? 3x plus 2. What's U dash? There's U, so what's U dash? 1. I'm going to highly encourage you to write the fact that it's 1, even though it doesn't make a difference, because it shows that you're actually going through the quotient rule. Uh, on the top, it's a minus, and then what's u? X minus 1. V dash? Three. Just 3. All divided by v squared. Okay. Let's just tidy up a little bit, because as you can see, that numerator uh, can be, you know, you're going to collect a lot of like terms up there, so you're going to get a 3x plus 2 out the front, Minus 3x plus 3. Yeah? Look good? All divided by, I will point out at this stage that there's almost certainly nothing to gain by expanding the denominator. Uh, and you will always get something down here that's squared, but like, what, do you, what advantage is there to uh, turning that into 9x squared plus 12x plus 4. No, there's no gain at all. There's no extra information that you can do, uh, that you can see from it. So I just leave it like so. And that looks like we get this. And your home and host. Okay? Any questions on that? It's not as bad as ratio addition. Not nearly as bad. Not nearly as bad. Okay? Now, before we finish off, and I just let you use the remaining part of your time to finish off. Um, 7f or start 7g. The, the main thing to watch out for here and to be conscious of is that the product rule, as you can see, it's a fair bit of work. It's a fair bit of work. So the main thing about the quotient rule is actually when not to use the quotient rule. You will see quotients and your instinct will be to use the quotient rule. But you shouldn't always, and in fact, whenever you can, you should avoid it, because it's a mess of a, it's just terrible. Like it just on and on and on it goes, right? So when you look at something like this, it's a quotient but you don't have to write this particular one as a quotient. Have a look. What could you do to this before you start differentiating? Okay, so uh, you can see that you can divide each of these terms by x, like each of them independently. So this is going to become, well x squared divided by x is just, it's just x, right? Well, first day back, guys, okay? Um, and then, as was pointed out, 4 over x, I would write that for differentiation purposes. I would write that as 4x to the negative 1. And then off you go. No quotient rule required, just treat each one individually, okay? In the same way, you could do this using the quotient rule if you had a death wish. An easier way to do it <laughs> is simply to say, hey, look, you've got a whole thing and it's on the bottom of the denominator. Right? Every time you see something on the bottom of the denominator, you write it in index form because that's always easier for the purposes of differentiation. So how would I write this in index form? Now, you're still out of the woods. You're still going to have to do chain rule on that. But chain rule is tons easier than quotient rule. In fact, pretty much everything is easier than quotient rule. Okay? So uh, use quotient rule when you have to. And to be honest, it's not that bad. Again, it's quite similar to the product rule, which is nice. So the, the tax on your memory is not you know, disastrous. But if there's another way, like I think we can agree that these are more efficient paths through the question. So don't just jump straight to your differentiation. Okay? Think about what you can do with that thing before you actually start the process, and then off you go. Okay.